Oh, it's a good fish. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. I'm excited about today. I've got today off and I am doing a little fishing out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, and I'm talking the middle of nowhere. I love finding these dirt roads and some of the best fishing happens at the end of some of these rural dirt roads. And we're gonna hopefully get into some big old monster trout in this fishery. I fished this fishery once before. Oh my God, it was something else. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my God. Holy shit. That is a really big fish. Oh my God. That was a huge fish. And now this time I think I'm gonna go ahead and plan a little bit better and hopefully if I hook into something like this again, I'll be more prepared to land it and just have a little easier time of it. Anyway, so we're gonna get there, get rigged up and do a little fishing. All right, thanks for joining me. All right, everybody, see you on the lake. I mean, the stream, I mean, wherever it is I'm fishing. position here as long as I keep it out of the weeds and stuff oh my god that's a really big fish Totally botched the release. Thought I had a recording, but look at this, look at this creek, and you saw the size of that fish. That was pretty, pretty darn impressive. On the worm. There we go. Nice. fish. There we go. Nice. Already unhooked. Sweet. Now put that in my face. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys. I have made a change and I want to tell you about it because it's a it's a great change. I can get my boot off. Instead of the felts with cleats, I've gone to these spikes. And I have to tell you, that creek that I just waded is slimy as heck. And these spikes are freaking great. And especially when you're walking on grass, how many of you have eaten it, right? Stepping on wet grass or just stepping on grass with wet boots. So with felts on. So these cleats are awesome for traction, both on land and in water. So I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to take a look at these for yourself. And these are corkers, by the way. There we go. Whoa. Oh, 
Thanks. Bring them right at me. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Wants to go in the grass. Of course. Oh, it's off. There we go. That's a good head shake. Good fish. Fish on. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. That is a big fish. Light tip it. Wow. Oh, nice. That's so great. Oh, yeah, it's going to be tough. Looking good. Oh, oh. 
the size of that tanker. Oh my God. Wow. Probably three, four pounds. This thing. Holy crap! Much more manageable trout. And he's off. Oh. Broke me off. No. What happened? Ah, oh, the line broke. Line busted right. Must have been a weak spot or something. Dang. My indicator and setup is out there. I'm going to see if I can snag it, bring it back. Yeah, I got it. Sweet. So, you ever have one of those days that it's so good, you could probably backtrack on some of the holes and catch a few more fish, but I just want to relish in how awesome that was. And I'm going to call it a little bit early, and that way I get home a little bit early. Just a fantastic day out here in the middle of nowhere. I've got this entire place to myself. That's one of the greatest things about having a secret spot. It's full of giant fish and there's nobody else around. All right. And hey, if you're new to fly fishing, sorry, I'm out of breath here, and need a little help with your fly fishing cast, check out this video right here. Eight minutes and you'll be casting that fly rod a little bit better than you are today. All right, everybody. Till the next time, fish on.